Ever wondered how to make authentic Polish-style cabbage rolls at home? Picture a traditional Polish dish filled with hearty ingredients and steeped in heritage. These cabbage rolls, known as golobki, are a staple in Polish cuisine, rich with ground sirloin, rice, onions, garlic, and mushrooms, all neatly tucked into tender cabbage leaves. Seasoned with parsley, salt, and pepper, these rolls are then slow cooked to perfection. Today, we're going to delve into the art of making these delicious parcels. Stay tuned to learn how to create this flavorful dish right in your own kitchen. The first step to making Polish cabbage rolls is preparing the cabbage. This process is crucial, and it's where our journey towards a delicious meal begins. We're going to need a large head of cabbage. If you can't find a large one, two smaller heads will do just fine. Now take the cabbage and cut out the center core. Once you've done that, place it core side down in a large pot of boiling water. This pot of water is going to become our cabbage spa. We're giving our cabbage a warm bath to soften it up and make it easier to work with. Let the cabbage simmer there covered for about 10 minutes. As it does, you'll notice the leaves starting to become pliable. That's exactly what we're aiming for. While our cabbage is enjoying its hot bath, let's not waste any time. Heat some olive oil in a pan over medium high heat and saute some diced onion and minced garlic. These are going to be the base of our filling later on, but more on that in a bit. Once your cabbage has had its 10 minute spa treatment, carefully remove it from the water, keeping the water in the pot. You'll need it for later. Transfer your cabbage to a rimmed baking sheet. Now here's where we have to be gentle. Think of each leaf as a delicate piece of paper. We want to avoid tearing them. Gently remove the leaves from the cabbage, cutting away from the core with a small knife. Aim to get at least 16 good, unbroken leaves. If you find the core too firm, don't hesitate to give it a few more minutes in the boiling water to soften. And there you have it. You've successfully prepared your cabbage leaves. They're ready to be filled with deliciousness and transformed into scrumptious Polish cabbage rolls. Once you have your cabbage leaves ready, you can start preparing the filling. But that's a process we'll delve into in the next scene. For now, give yourself a pat on the back. You've completed the first essential step towards making authentic Polish cabbage rolls. Now it's time to prepare the filling for our cabbage rolls. First, we need to set a pan over medium-high heat, drizzle in a tablespoon of olive oil, and let it warm up. Once the oil shimmers, it's time to add our diced onions. We'll give these a good stir until they start to soften and turn golden. That should take about three to five minutes. Next, we're going to add our minced garlic. Garlic can burn quickly, so we'll need to be vigilant, stirring it around with the onions for about a minute. It will release a delightful aroma that will make your kitchen smell wonderful. Now, if you're a fan of mushrooms, this is where they come in. We'll add two large, finely diced mushrooms to the pan and let them cook for another two minutes. The mushrooms add a nice earthy flavor to the filling, but remember, they're optional. If you're not a mushroom fan, you can simply skip this step. Once these are done, we'll transfer our sauteed mixture to a large bowl to cool. This is important because we don't want to add our ground sirloin to a hot mixture. That would start cooking the meat prematurely, and we want all the ingredients to cook together evenly in the oven. As our sauteed mixture cools down, let's turn our attention to the other ingredients. To the cooled onion mixture, we'll add one pound of ground sirloin, three quarters of a cup of uncooked long grain rice, brown or white, it's up to you, and a quarter cup of chopped parsley. We'll also throw in a cup of strained tomatoes or canned tomato puree, one and a half teaspoons of salt and pepper to taste. Then we're going to mix all these ingredients together until they're well combined. Remember, the key to a great filling is to mix it well so that every bite of our cabbage roll has a bit of everything. With your filling prepared, you're ready to start assembling your cabbage rolls. Scene script. Let's move on to the exciting part, assembling the cabbage rolls. Now that your filling has been prepared, take a moment to appreciate the symphony of flavors you've created. You've got the savory ground sirloin, the earthy mushrooms, the aromatic garlic and onion, and the fresh, vibrant parsley, all bound together by the hearty rice and rich tomato puree. This is the heart of your cabbage roll, ready to be wrapped in your softened cabbage leaves. Start by selecting one of your 16 perfect leaves. Lay it flat and observe its natural curve. This will guide you in placing your filling. Spoon about a quarter cup of your filling just above the cut you made earlier to remove the thick spine. 
It's essential not to overfill, as you want the leaf to comfortably wrap around the filling without bursting. Now comes the fun of rolling. Fold in the sides of the leaf over the filling, and then roll it up, starting from the cut end and moving towards the tip of the leaf. The goal is to create a neat little package with the filling snugly encased. Don't worry if it's not perfect. Each roll is unique and holds its own charm. Once your roll is complete, place it seam side down in a 13 by 9 inch pan. This ensures that the rolls hold their shape while baking. Repeat the process with the remaining leaves and filling, arranging the rolls snugly side by side in the pan. When all your rolls are assembled, it's time to pour your chosen liquid over them. This could be beef stock, cabbage water, or a blend of both with some leftover tomato. This step ensures your cabbage rolls stay moist and flavorful during baking. Finally, lay some of your leftover leaves on top of the rolls. They'll act as a protective barrier, preventing the tops from drying out. With your rolls assembled, you're just a few steps away from having delicious homemade Polish cabbage rolls. Enjoy this accomplishment. You're creating a traditional dish that's rooted in heritage and bursting with flavor. Now that your cabbage rolls are assembled, it's time to bake them. We're going to start by preheating our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the perfect temperature to ensure our rolls cook evenly and thoroughly, without burning or drying out. Once the oven is heated, we'll take our pan filled with carefully rolled cabbage parcels and pour over our chosen liquid. This could be beef stock, water from the boiled cabbage, or even a combination of these with some leftover tomato puree. This liquid not only keeps our rolls moist during cooking but also infuses them with additional flavor. Next, we're going to cover our pan tightly with foil. This will trap the heat and steam, creating a mini oven within our oven and ensuring our cabbage rolls cook evenly. As a precaution, place the pan on a cookie sheet in case it drips. Now into the oven they go. Our cabbage rolls will need to bake for one and a half hours. This slow cooking process allows the flavors to meld together, the rice to cook perfectly, and the cabbage to become tender, yet still hold its shape. Once the time is up, remove your pan from the oven. But hold off on digging in just yet. We're going to let our cabbage rolls rest for about 30 minutes. This allows the flavors to settle and the rolls to cool slightly for easier handling. However, if you can resist, let them cool completely and refrigerate them overnight. This will intensify the flavors even more, making for an even tastier treat the next day. When you're ready to serve, these cabbage rolls are excellent when browned in a little oil or butter. The browning adds another layer of flavor and gives a nice crunch to the cabbage. Serve them with a side of sour cream for a classic Polish touch. And there you have it, authentic Polish cabbage rolls made right in your own kitchen. Enjoy this hearty, flavorful dish that's a staple in many Eastern European households and now in yours too. So, to quickly recap the process, we've embarked on a delightful culinary journey today, exploring the heartwarming world of Polish cuisine with our homemade Polish cabbage rolls. We began with a large, fresh cabbage head, blanched to perfect tenderness. This made our cabbage leaves pliable and ready to cradle the savory filling we prepared next. In our filling, we combined ground sirloin with finely diced onions, garlic, and optional mushrooms, sautéed to a tantalizing golden brown. To this, we added uncooked long grain rice, chopped parsley, and palmy strained tomatoes, seasoning it with salt and pepper to taste. The result? A hearty, flavorful filling, ready to be rolled into our cabbage leaves. Then came the rolling. Each cabbage leaf was filled with a generous quarter cup of our prepared filling. We rolled them carefully, placing them seam side down in a baking pan. After pouring our chosen liquid over the rolls and covering them with leftover cabbage leaves, it was time for these beauties to bake. After an hour and a half in a preheated oven, our cabbage rolls emerged, ready to be enjoyed. We let them rest, allowing the flavors to melt together. And remember, these rolls taste even better the next day, browned in a little oil or butter and served with a side of sour cream. Enjoy your homemade Polish cabbage rolls and remember, the best meals are those made with love and shared with family.